Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is the first chapter of Nehemiah. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah. Now it happened in the month Shizlev, in the twentieth year, while I was in Susa, the capital, that Hanani, one of my brothers, and some men from Judah came, and I asked them about the Jews who had escaped and had survived the captivity and about Jerusalem. And they said to me, The remnant there, in the province, who survived the captivity, are in great distress and disgrace, and the wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates have been burned with fire. Now when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. I said, Please, Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps the covenant and faithfulness for those who love Him and keep His commandments. Let your ear now be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant which I am praying before you now, day and night, on behalf of the sons of Israel your servants, confessing the sins of the sons of Israel, which we have committed against you. I and my father's house have sinned, We have acted very corruptly against you, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the ordinances which you commanded your servant Moses. Remember, please, the word which you commanded your servant Moses, saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the peoples. But if you return to me, and keep my commandments, and do them, Though those of you who have been scattered were in the most remote part of the heavens, I will gather them from there and bring them to the place where I have chosen to have my name dwell. They are your servants and your people, whom you redeemed by your great power and by your strong hand. Please, Lord, may your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and the prayer of your servants who delight to revere your name. And please, make your servant successful today and grant him mercy before this man. Now I was the cupbearer to the king. Talking to God doesn't always come naturally, but we have examples in Scripture to help us. In today's passage, Nehemiah strengthens his prayers by recalling God's character. Bringing divine attributes to mind increased his faith and confidence in the Lord. Nehemiah begins by saying, Please, Lord God of heaven. Lord, when it appears in all capital letters, denotes the word Jehovah. It means God who is eternal in His being. Why is this detail important? Acknowledgement of God's eternal being is a reminder that God is faithful. Nehemiah prays with confidence because he knows the Lord keeps His promises. The next Hebrew word, Elohim is translated, He who is absolutely sovereign. This name refers to the Creator and recognizes His omnipotence. Once again, Nehemiah acknowledges an important attribute of God, this time His power. Nehemiah knows that the God who spoke the world into being is certainly able to answer His request. We may not use these divine names very often, but we'd all benefit from following Nehemiah's example of praising God's character. What attribute of the Heavenly Father do you need to be reminded of today? Take a moment to thank Him for this trait. Then approach God boldly and lay your request at His feet. 